How long does it actually take for people to die a hypothermic death in cold water? We've talked about what really kills people, and it's primarily swim failure. But actually, if you put people into cold water, and these studies have been done early on by a guy named John Hayward in British Columbia, and more recently by Gordon Giesbrecht, also a Canadian, it turns out that in cold water, 50 degree-ish, that would be like San Francisco Bay, uh, North Atlantic, uh, it takes people a long time to die from a purely hypothermic death, probably about three hours. Now, of course, there's a bell-shaped curve, but something like three hours. And even in ice water, ice water being 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees centigrade, ice cubes floating around, a polar bear, uh, how long does it take to die? Probably you've got an hour. So the big thing then is how do you stay alive for that hour? Now, Gordon Giesbrecht, who runs the cold water boot camp, has come up with this rule. And I'd like to talk about that. And it's the one ten one rule. And Gordon describes this better than I can, but basically what it's about is that that first minute, you have this incapacitation from falling into cold water, cold water shock. And you need to spend that first minute getting your breathing under control. You can breathe a mile a minute. You have to tell yourself, you just need to get it under control. You've got one minute to do that. Then you've got about 10 minutes to get out of the water. And your best bet is to get out right now because the longer you stay in that water, the more you're going to experience swim failure due to the neuromuscular cooling. And so anything that you can do immediately to get out, give it your best right away because it's only going to get worse. And then the one is one hour. You've got one hour before you're truly dead from hypothermia. So you've got to figure out a way to anchor yourself to the side of the ice. Um, Gordon, I remember mentioned that if you've got a beard, you can freeze your beard to the side of the ice so that as you go unconscious, you don't slip back in. So your rescuers, when they finally make it to you, maybe you're unconscious, you're severely hypothermic, but you're still viable and you haven't drowned because you're glued to the ice by your beard. So if you can figure out a way to attach yourself to the side maybe your friends are on their way and they're gonna help you out so 110 one one minute to get your breathing under control 10 minutes to do something effective as far as self-rescue and then an hour to live before you truly die a hypothermic death